Hi guys, I wanted to show you this issue I'm having with some of the spruce trees. So if you could see, hopefully this isn't the right good lighting, but you can see that yellowing spot over here. Not you, not that yellow spot. So you can see this yellow, sp see how yellowing here? So this is called dieback. And it could be a fungal issue or it could also be due to weather pattern changes. So I am blaming climate change. It, uh, from the weather going like, like this year we've got drought. Usually we've had floods a lot. This is very, um, we've had a lot of flooding in here before, but this year we're having a drought. We've gone from super hot weather to cold weather. So we've had some heat waves, which we usually don't have, but so here's the tree, what I did, so this I put, I've gone ahead and cut this out so that hopefully it doesn't, I can save the tree. Uh, I feel so bad, this one I had to cut back quite a bit. You can see I had to go all the way to the end and there's, hopefully it'll come back. I'll uh, keep you posted next uh, in the spring hopefully i'll have some growth in there but we'll see so i've got i've already done i've done a two over there and now this is our row of trees down here so i've got a few more to do so i'll take you there and show you what i've been doing okay so here's another one I'll get a little bit closer here where you can see how it's got some, basically they're dying is what they are. So I will probably have to take it back down. It usually happens at the bottom. So that's good. At least I'll get rid of the bottom, but we're out here. This is out in the field and these are supposed to be our wind protection. So I don't want these to die. I do want them to survive. So I'm going to see if I can help them out. Okay, uh, so down here I have my pruning shears and some uh, bleached water so I can clean my shears in between cuts so I don't infect any other part of the tree if I cut something that doesn't have infection. It's not looking that pretty because over here it seemed fine but I'm gonna leave those even though I'm just gonna see because I'm it's not like I'm going for beauty out here where this is to stop this is to help with the wind and we've been having a lot of wind so so I'm gonna leave it looking like this hopefully in the one I guess on the one side it's pretty so with that and I've got a few more to go through oh yeah so I'm also so as I if you notice I'm leaving the pile over here so I'm not this is not going in the compost or to be um, or to be shredded or anything like that this will be burned because they could be a fungal infection I don't know so we're going to get rid of them and we don't want it to transpose to anything else so anyway so I'll continue hopefully uh, this helps you if you see this problem it's best to get to it early on as early as you can because the tree will as you can tell this tree is I believe about Maybe three, three years old. I'm not sure how old, three to four. Um, but I can still cut it. Like it's, it'll regrow um, pretty good. It'll bounce back, hopefully. It's best to catch it quickly so that it can recover, hopefully recover. And uh, yeah, so as I said, hopefully this helps you. 
and if you have this issue then uh, check back I'll let you know how it how it comes back and we'll check it back out next spring my water. I gotta walk all the way back to the house and get some more. <laughs>